Hey guys, Leslie here. If you have ever seen a Bible verse reference, or if you have ever been asked to go to a verse or look up a verse, this can easily lead to a very confusing, even possibly embarrassing situation. So I just want to take a quick moment to introduce you to a couple different types of Bibles and how the verses work. So I have four different types of Bibles here. This is what I'm going to refer to as a standard Bible. <laughs> Let's flip it up right. <laughs> this Bible is very mobile, easy to travel with, and easy to bring places. This Bible has both the Old and New Testaments in it. There are no pre-printed pre research points, no notes, no commentary, and here you can see just how small the print is. The print is super small to be able to fit everything into this easy to carry compact book. The next one is a study Bible that has a lot of commentary and research points towards the bottom of the pages. There are lines and below the lines is a commentary and detailed research material. Now, this third set that I have here is what I would consider very advanced research Bible. The Old Testament and the New Testament could probably be fit into one massive book, but wouldn't be very practical to study or carry it anywhere with you. This is the Old Testament and this is the New Testament. And as you can see, the size of the print is also very reader friendly. So now let's start with how Bible verses work. So this Bible is a study Bible. And like most Bibles, anyone would use on a regular basis, it has both the Old Testament and the New Testament inside of it. If you open to the front of the book, like many books, you will find a table of contents. Please note and take a moment to see that in this particular layout, there are four different box areas and three columns and two of the boxes. The Old Testament has 39 books listed in the three columns, and the New Testament has all 27 books listed in the three columns. Now, the books may visually appear as chapters because they are laid out in the Bible similar to one of our modern chapter books. But each one of these listed are actually separate books. Most with separate authors and the full 66 books took an estimated time frame of 1500 years to be written in completion. So some of the book names are words only and others have numbers in front of them. Let's look more in depth at one with the number in front of it because those can be the most confusing. How about 1 John 4.1? Let's look at the page number it says First John starts and go to that page. Once we are on that page, this particular Bible gives us an outline and some background information, but you will not always have that. Sometimes it'll just jump right in, like in this smaller normal Bible. Normal meaning it's not a study Bible. From here, Let's flip through the pages till we get to chapter four. The first verse here starts immediately after the chapter four indicator. But if we are not looking at the first verse, if we are looking at the second or any other one, it would look like this. So if we were looking at the verse, 1 John 4, 1 through 2, we have found it. And the verses, verse 1, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try in the spirit whether they are of God, 
because many false prophets are going out into the world. In verse 2, Hereby know ye the Spirit of God, every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. Great job! You did it! The books without numbers in them are looked up the exact same way. Find the page number of the book you're looking for starts on flip till you see the book or chapter you are looking for. Then locate the verse number you are interested in. I hope this video has helped you in understanding how to look up a verse and why some Bibles are so much larger than others. May God's face shine on you and yours. Dear Lord, thank you for today. Thank you for your many blessings. Thank you so much for your written word. Thank you so much that we get to know you, know your character, know your heart through these words. Lord, I love you. I just pray that you just bless everyone who's watching today. I just pray that your hands are on them, that you just lift them up, dear Lord. Help lead them and help guide them and just be with us day in and day out. I pray that this video just brings enlightenment to those looking to know you better, know you closer, and just to be more comfortable. We love you, Lord. Praise your name. Amen. Thanks for joining us.